My hand is 3D. I mean, of course it is. I mean, there's three dimensions, you know, X, Y, and Z, just like, you know, my head and all that. But, you know, when it comes to animation, it's usually just 2D. You know, you have your X and Y, and you really can't flip it around and see three sides to whatever, you know, graphic that you have. So in this video, I want to show you how you can take 2D graphics and create a fake 3D animation look on them very easily. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel. Welcome to Sunduck Film. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You know, I hear there's a cool animation when you hit that button. So, you know, we're all about animation on this channel. And of course, be sure to smash that like button, you know, YouTube algorithm style. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply this fake 3D look to any graphic that you have. So this will work with pretty much any project you're working on. So let's jump in and let's get started. So this is obviously the scene that I'm going with, but if you want to download your own scene, if you don't want to create this from scratch, uh, you can take a look at Envato Elements where I downloaded this scene specifically. I use Envato Elements for pretty much everything for music, sound effects, and obviously graphics. Or you can take a look at freepix.com where you can download free vectors. Those links will be in the description below. And of course, before we animate this in After Effects, we're going to have to set this up in Adobe Illustrator. So when you download your files, uh, usually you'll get a .eps file or a .ai. Just open that up in Adobe Illustrator. You don't need to know anything specific with Adobe Illustrator. It's very easy what we're going to do here. So when you have that file open in Adobe Illustrator, all we're going to do is come here to Layers. And you'll see that there's usually going to be one layer of everything in it. We need to open up that layer and go into the group. And you'll see all the individual paths. There might be groups. It doesn't really matter. Our goal here is to create individual layers for each object in the scene. So we want a layer for each tree. You have the tent here or whatever elements that you have. So we'll come here to the bottom where it says create new layer and we'll create a handful of these. So what I want to do here is go through the layers and start pulling out specific groups of elements. So for example here, I can come here and shift click all these elements and if I hide them, I know for a fact that's the tent. So now what we want to do is take all these paths and just drag it into its own layer here at the top. So we'll come here to maybe the top layer and then we can rename it the tent. So now this will be its own object inside of After Effects and that's very important to do. All right, when you have everything layered out, you'll see that I have every object in one individual layer so I can animate these layers by themselves inside of After Effects. So it's very important to have all your objects that you want to animate in its own individual layers. When it's all said and done, go to File, Save As, and save your project file as a .ai file. Click on Save. All right, so when your project file is saved out, we can take this Illustrator file and bring it into After Effects panel here. Make sure Import Kind, set the Composition, and click OK. Then we can double click on this composition and it'll open up right here inside of After Effects. And we have all those Illustrator layers that we saved right here in After Effects. And you can just turn them on and off as you see fit. So the first thing we want to do when we do this is we want to click on this icon right here, which allows you to hide your layers. It's called the shy icon. And you come over here and click on it here and it'll disappear. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to start with one object first. So we'll start with a big object like a tent here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to right click it, click on create and click on create shapes from vector layer. So now I can click on this shy icon and there it is. We only have one layer to focus on, which is I think important for this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our shape layer and what we'll do is come here to top, we'll type out path right at the search bar. I've never really used this before, but it's a great way to pinpoint all the paths and what we'll do is click on path here and hit control a on pc command a on apple that's what that's called <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for the path so we'll add all those keyframes hit u and keyboard and now what we can do is move forward in time say two seconds and we'll just click off select on one path here and what i'll do is i'll click and i'll drag select a handful of these keyframes here and what i'll do is hit control t on my keyboard or command t on the mac and we'll come here and we'll just kind of Squeeze those in there like that. Then what we'll do is we'll stretch out the front end of this. So that, boom, this allows us to kind of change the perspective of the tent, right? And the follow up on this, we'll select the back end keyframes here. And then we'll just click and we'll drag this out to be a little bit longer. All right. So depending on what you're working with, you might need to make some fine tune adjustments. So like this part of the tent needs to kind of be over here. And if I say so myself, I don't know. That looks like 3D to me. Pretty cool. And before we move further into our tutorial, I understand that creating work inside of After Effects can be tedious, time consuming, and difficult if you're just starting out. That's why I produced a series of motion graphics packs along with an extension for After Effects that I want to quickly show you. 
So this is our extension that holds all the templates that we have and you can preview a template before you apply it. So this is specifically our Motion Graphics Professionals pack. We currently have 10 packs available on our website, but how these packs and extension work is aimed to help you save time and produce awesome work. So you can preview a template before you apply it and when you find the right template, you click on apply and it applies a full animated template to say your After Effects project. You can go into the template and quickly change out your title and with a few clicks of a button, you can change the color of your templates very easily with our controls. And back in your main composition, everything will update. And with these packs, you have a handful of categories that you can use. So we can come here and maybe add some accent graphics here. So we have this category here called motion graphic shapes. Click on apply. And literally with just a few clicks and under minutes worth of time, we're able to put together a really cool composition with just two templates right here from one of our packs. And by picking up multiple of our packs, you can quickly switch over to other packs that we have available. So if you want to save hours and hours of time while producing professional work right here instead of After Effects and even Premiere Pro, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below if you do pick up anything. You will be supporting this YouTube channel, so thank you very much. So now that we have the idea ready to go, I want to go through just a couple more examples because not every object is going to be the same and you might have something different than what I have. So to continue this, we need to create this 3D motion to other objects in our scene. So let's start with something simple here, like a tree. So I'll grab a tree layer and as before, we'll come here to create and we'll do that shapes from vector just like that. And we can hide that. Great. So we'll bring up the paths again. We'll select both of them and add those keyframes and go to exactly two seconds because we want this to be looping. So the goal here is to select the keyframes on one side that you want to like rotate into. So you hit control T and we're going to just stretch out one side of our object here. Um, and that's the side that you're going to kind of rotate into. And then for the other side specifically, you need to grab that side by selecting and dragging like this. And with control T, you just need to shorten that up like so. So this way it looks like there'll be some overall motion you know, to the entire thing. So now that looks like we're moving into the side of that tree and that's great. And that's exactly what we have to create. So when you have all your animation done, you're going to want this to be looping and also maybe have a little bit of uh, keyframe customization in there. So for example, what I can do is grab all the keyframes, both these layers here that we've just worked on, hit U on my keyboard and I'll select all the keyframes, hit F9 on my keyboard, make them easy, ease keyframes. Now what I can do is come here to the graph editor and I'll click and drag a box around this keyframe here. And I will just drag this point in and that will affect all the keyframes. Then do the same thing to the other side and bring that handle in all the way. So now you can just customize the animation, you know, for every single layer in keyframe. So you just have to do that one time. Now, if you want this to be repeating, you can, you know, create more keyframes over here, but I think the fastest way to, you know, repeat the animation is to select everything in your composition and go to layer pre-compose. And then what we'll do is come here to edit split layer on this composition, we'll delete it. We'll take our comp here, duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate, and then you can right click on the layer and go to time and do uh, time reverse layer and just kind of match up to the cut. So now this animation will be looping. So we just did two objects here, but you know, for an entire scene, you know, you're gonna get something like this. So that is really cool and what you can do with this 3D animation. So there's gonna be some more complex objects as well. So like, you know, you might have to be a little bit more creative with depending on what you're using. So like this fire here, you know, this is how it was normally. And then as we distort this, what we'll do is, you know, take out the back end of this and start squeezing in the front end of the wood, you know, so you might have to go in there and just customize the keyframes by a little bit, but it's essentially how you can pull off simple, you know, fake 3D work right here instead of After Effects by applying those techniques to all the layers in your composition. And as a quick tip, some of the other objects in the scene, like these back trees and the mountain, I'm not actually distorting those layers at all. What we did here with these back trees is I animated the position of these. So they're going from left to right. There's no shape layers with them. So because the further an object is, uh, you're not going to really see the other side of it, right? So you can just do a simple position animation. Same thing with the mountain. Do the same thing there so just slightly moving it over because as far back you're not going to see the other side of it so keep that in mind uh, when you're building the depth of your scene now you can tell all your friends you did this in cinema 40 or 3ds max or blender but really you just did this in after effects and adobe illustrator which is really cool and impressive so so hopefully you'll take these techniques and produce some awesome work with them Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. You can also hit me up on Instagram. We got tutorials on there as well. And always be creative.